I created a 3D spectrum of all the blocks in Minecraft. When you're building something, it's nice to have some variety in the textures that you include. And this is one of the reasons why I built this. There's some redstone that you can actually change, like what types of blocks are in there. And I'm going to go through it. And ultimately, at the end, there is a world download available for all this. So I did this by converting a blocks texture into an average color and getting its RGB value, which just is a red, green, blue value. And then I use the red, green, and blue value as the X, Y, and Z coordinates. So if this red wool here is uh, the average color represents red 161, green 39, and blue 35. If you don't know what RGB is, uh, it's just a color code. We use RGB or CMYK in computers to represent colors, and it goes from 0 to 255. And by com combining very, you know, the amounts of these numbers, we can get millions of different colors. And so I've done that, and the so the zero point is actually the origin right here, and so something like red is along the x-axis here, so it's 161 blocks over, uh, up 39 blocks, and over 35. Actually, for this. Uh, I compressed everything down because the blocks weren't really that close together and it's better if you can see everything nice and close. So if I actually divided all of the values by three, there was very little overlap between the blocks, like two blocks still didn't have the same color. So um, I did that just so everything was nice and uh, compact. And so red is actually 54, uh, 13, and 12. So if you look over here, there's the red wool. You can see all of its other red colors that are along with it. It's uh, cyan, terracotta, which is more gray. You can really see all the neutral tones right down the middle. So uh, up at the very top, um, I think the top was like 80, 85, 85, 85 for how I compressed it. So black is 0, 0, 0, and pure white would be way up at the top. And I think the lightest block is actually uh, clear, or the white glass. But there's white wool, concrete, snow. But yeah, so cyan terracotta, since it's neutral, it should be somewhere in the middle up here, slightly over towards the blue side, maybe. Yeah, there it is, right there. But... So the, the redstone interactive part of this is because textures, blocks don't have textures on the same side, uh, on all the same sides. So if you have something like, um, oh, here, yeah, so these spruce uh, logs, uh, sorry, planks, have the exact same texture every single side, top, bottom, you know, every side. Um, but something like acacia here has a very different. It has a orange side and a gray side. And we can control which side that, that texture is on. We can do it up, down, left, right. We can orient that any way we want. So for, I currently have top textures on. So you should have two different acacia blocks over here. There's actually an acacia wood block but here's the acacia up block, and then the side I just have using the uh, the wood block here. But other blocks like the blast furnace, which has different textures, but we can't make this front on the top facing side. You know, we can control which side the front is on, but not whether or not it's on the top or bottom. Then you have really weird ones like uh, observers, which we can't control at all. Um, if they're up and down, these arrows are always facing uh, north-south, and these bars are always 
uh, east west. Another one is the uh, cartography table. Strangely enough, we can't rotate it at all. No matter which direction we place it, it's always oriented the same way. So it's got a really nice texture on this side. So if you have a uh, north facing wall, you know, it's got a little interesting, it's almost a dark oak. But anyway, so I, it's, I, I have this here so that if you want to use, like, if you want to see, well, if you want to see bottom only unique or, uh, yeah, bottom only textures, let me turn that back off mm -hmm. and you hit this button, everything wipes out and then bottom textures come in. Uh, so things like the daylight sensor, the uh, loom, really interesting textures that you really don't use very much unless you're making ceilings or something like that. But I have, so other things, maybe you're building something, maybe you don't want to see the light blocks, uh, which I just learned this um, when I was doing this. I didn't know Crying Obsidian emits light, but... It's a very low light level, but it does emit light. Other things, uh, glass blocks, gravity blocks, live coral blocks, since you need water, maybe you don't want to have those included, and uh, shulker boxes, because they disappear depending on how close you are, since they're entities. Like there's a shulker box up there if I get closer there, it pops in. So if you're, you know, using it for colors in a build, maybe you don't want to use that. Maybe you don't. Maybe you don't want to use the, the glass and things. Um, let's see the gravity blocks. I have. I just put in a piece of string underneath all of them, and then the coral blocks. Since they die if they don't have water, I just have a, uh, a waterlogged. Uh, trapdoor underneath to keep them alive. But basically, or exactly how this works is that it has one row of command blocks that clears out the whole area, and then a series of command blocks for each type. So if you only want to see the six sided block textures, turn that one on, hit the button, it erases everything lags out for a while and then it loads in everything and so there are side textures top textures and bottom textures i would only have one of these on at the time because some of these override each other they're the same color but um yeah so normally i use well anyway you, you can you can decide what you want what you want to have turned on and what you want to have turned off uh, let's see, some other things, oh, for color blocks that have, uh, varying color, like the new wood and, uh, prismarine blocks, I only have one, I, I took the average of the entire color range that it's shifting through, not just, like, one state of that, um, so it doesn't really change it that much, yeah, there it is right there, but, uh, and then things like, uh, grass and leaves, that change with their biome, I didn't include at all because that's very dependent on what you're doing. And it, it, it varies enough that it would shift quite a lot. And I can't represent like all those different varieties in here. So I just, I just left it out. But um, it is very satisfying to see it all go away and then, then come back in. But uh, hopefully this this is useful for somebody. I did it just for myself because I like to vary textures and builds or when I do transitions, you can even see like how you would do a gradient. If you just went from like block to block, you would find the blocks that you want to use. And I think uh, for me, it, it's going to be really helpful uh, making some of my builds uh, better. Like I had no idea when I was, it's interesting when I was building this, I, you know, if you're making things out of brick, you, you, you people often use granite or uh, smooth granite in the build, and sometimes you see terracotta uh, used as well. And I was surprised that mushroom uh, brown mushroom block is also 
really close to the same color. I don't think it goes well with it, but um, it, it, I didn't know that it was that that close, and I didn't know that the uh, the uh, like exposed mushroom blocks were that yellow or not that or like that close to birch. And something, one thing else, I always thought endstone is pretty yellow, but it's quite a far away from yellow. It's very close to, you know, the sandy colors and stuff, but yeah, it's interesting. Um, I don't have any decorative blocks, things like cauldrons or uh, anvils or lanterns or other things like that in here. Um, I might add some of those in the future. And I don't have any of the 1.17 stuff in here right now. I'm pretty sure I'll add that stuff um, when 1.17 is, is actually released. But um, for now, I'm just going to wait because the the blocks might change. Uh, they've already changed textures almost every single snapshot they've come out. So I think I'll wait until all that stuff is kind of settled out, maybe even after the, the you know, version uh, 1.17 point whatever uh, gets a stable version. But uh, anyway, I hope this is helpful to somebody and, uh, happy building guys. Oh yeah. One more thing. Like I said, the world download is in the comments and if I missed something or if I made a mistake or you have questions, like feel free to answer, feel free to answer, feel free to ask, and I will happily answer them. Thanks. Bye.